My first real inspiration of burning embers came to me one night as I was sitting up in bed in France, looking out onto the Mediterranean. I couldn't sleep and a big boat, uh, one of these big cruisers, glided past the window, all illuminated, and I started to think about the people on that boat and were, was there any romance going on there? Were there any lonely people? Was anybody running away from their life? And that is how the opening to Burning Embers started. Um, and my, uh, actually my uh, heroine, Coral, uh, wasn't running away from her life because she was uh, going to Kenya to take over uh, uh, an inheritance, but she was also in a way running away from a broken heart uh, because her fiancé had let her down. Burning Embers started as a, as a seed sown during my uh, school days when I was learning about Le Comte de Lille, uh, a poet uh, of the 19th century, uh, whose uh, writing uh, is about animals and jungles and sunsets and dawns. He has a very descriptive way of writing, very passionate, and it made me dream about Kenya. We also had a friend, a dear friend of my father's, uh, Mr. Wangai, uh, a Kenyan gentleman who used to visit us very often and who used to tell me about his wonderful country and about their customs and uh, also about witch doctors. Uh, I've always been interested in fortune telling and witch doctors and voodoo and uh, gypsies. Um, so I was fascinated by his stories. And after the ban was taken off in 1968, um, I went to Kenya um, uh, to, uh, with my parents and Mr. Wangai uh, made us um, visit his beautiful country and I really fell in love with the place. And I took a lot of notes which helped me later on when I wrote the book. Um, Coral Sinclair is 25. She is on her way to Kenya uh, to uh, take over the uh, um, inheritance of her father. She left Kenya when her parents separated when she was a child uh, and she loved Kenya and uh, so she comes back but her father is dead so it's, it's a happy return but at the same time it's quite a sad return because her father is not going to be there. Now, uh, she on board ship, she meets Rafe, uh, Rafe de Montfort, who is um, a French uh, settler uh, who's got a plantation and a nightclub. Uh, she doesn't realize that he was a friend of her father's and when she gets to Kenya, she hears a lot of rumors uh, that he is a womanizer and that he actually uh, was, uh, that the, he was carrying on an affair uh, with her stepmother, uh, her father's second wife. Um, and so there are a lot of ups and downs uh, in the story uh, until we, um, uh, until it's the, uh, love prevails at the end. <laughs> Burning Embers was the first book I submitted. Uh, it was the, the first book I completed uh, because I had started to write other books and Burning Embers was the one that really took my fancy at the time and I decided to write it as a, as a novel um, and because Kenya held such importance 
in my heart and in my life.